Okay, well, it's September and the Chilean nut is ripe. So, a Chilean nut is actually an evergreen nut tree that's in the Proteaceae family. So, even though the Latin name uh, Gevoina avellana, um, avellana uh, is, uh, is also the Latin name for hazelnut, uh, the species uh, that's native to Europe, which is the commercial hazelnut, this is not related to hazelnut at all, even though. One of the common names for this is Chilean hazelnut or Chilean nut. Um, it's actually in the Proteaceae family. So it's an evergreen uh, tree that's related to macadamia nut. But unlike macadamia nut from Queensland, Australia, subtropical Australia, which would only grow in South Florida or extreme Southern California or Hawaii, this grows here in the foothills of the Cascade Mountains in Western Washington at 1100 foot elevation and survives the winter you know we get in fact uh, one of the problems with this tree is that because it is a broadleafed evergreen sometimes we'll get two or three feet of snow and it can collapse an evergreen broadleafed evergreen uh, tree and so it, this tree has often broken apart quite a bit from the heavy snow loads at any rate it's blooming right now so the it's been blooming about a month so these these white flower clusters here are are the blooms that will become the nuts next year at this time. The nuts themselves are these, uh, are these red, uh, red nuts that, are, um, that turn black when they're ripe. And, and these nuts um, come off easily when they're ripe. And you can see this one is starting to turn black, so it's ripe inside. And you know, it's a very thin-shelled nut. The, the nut kind of reminds me so I can cut it with my clippers there. The nut kind of reminds me of, uh, of uh, a cross between macadamia nut and, uh, and a coconut and, uh, and, and a hazelnut, you know. But it's not a cross, it's its own species native to uh, the, um, the temperate regions of uh, Chile in the, in the foothills of the Andes Mountains. Delicious nuts um, and they're uh, uh, kind of unique in, in many respects in that they are hardy enough to survive down to about zero degrees Fahrenheit and uh, uh, when dormant and uh, and a beautiful uh, distinct evergreen nut tree or shrub this tree is growing more like a shrub because of the heavy snow loads that have broken it back occasionally.